In this lesson, we're going to learn about horizontal and vertical lines. Let's start by understanding what horizontal and vertical lines are. A horizontal line is a line that goes from left to right and does not slant. The graph of a horizontal line looks like this. It's interesting to note that the horizontal line passes through the y-axis. This is interesting because the equation of a horizontal line is y equals a number. This particular graph passes through the y-axis at 4, and the equation of the line is y equals 4. A vertical line, on the other hand, is a line that goes straight up and down and does not slant. Here's the graph of a vertical line, and it's interesting to know that a vertical line passes through the x-axis. This is interesting because the equation of a vertical line is x equals a number. This vertical line passes through the x-axis at 4, and the equation of the line is x equals 4. This lesson is broken into two separate parts. In the first part, we'll focus on writing the equation of a line from a graph that's given to us. In the second part of this lesson, we'll focus on actually drawing the graphs when the equation is given to us. Let's look at our first example. Write the equation of the line shown on the graph below. We see that we have a horizontal line, and we know that horizontal lines have the equation y equals a number. This is easy to remember, because the line passes only through the y-axis. We look at the graph, and we see that the graph passes through the y-axis at 2. That means the equation is y equals 2. And we're all done. Something interesting to notice about this is if we take a look at some points on the graph, negative 4 comma 2, 0 comma 2, and 3 comma 2. Notice what all of these points have in common. The y value is always 2, and the equation is y equals 2. So, when we have the graph of y equals 2, we're saying that every single point on the line has a y value of 2. Here's two examples for you to try. Can you write the equation of the lines shown on each graph? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to check your answer. Let's see how you did. We have two horizontal lines here, and we know that horizontal lines have the equation y equals a number. The first one passes through the y-axis at negative 4, so the equation is y equals negative 4. The second graph passes through the y-axis at 5. The equation is y equals 5. These are the equations of the lines shown on the graph. Next, let's take a look at a vertical line. Write the equation of the line shown on the graph below. Remember, vertical lines have the equation x equals a number. This is easy to remember because the line passes only through the x-axis. This particular graph passes through the x-axis at 2, which means the equation is x equals 2. Let's take a look at some points on the graph. The point 2 comma negative 4, 2 comma 0, 2 comma 3. Notice what all of these points have in common. In all cases, the x value is always 2, and the equation is x equals 2. When we have the equation x equals 2, it means that x is always 2. Here's two examples for you to try. Can you write the equation of the line shown on each of the graphs? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to check your answer. Let's see how you did. We have two vertical lines, and we know that vertical lines have the equation x equals a number. The first graph passes through the x-axis at negative 5 and therefore has the equation x equals negative 5. The second graph passes through the x-axis at 3. It therefore has the equation x equals 3. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples where we have a horizontal line in one and a vertical line in the other. Can you write the equation for these two lines? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to check your answer. Let's see how you did. The first graph is a horizontal line. Horizontal lines pass through the y-axis and have the equation y equals a number. This graph passes through the y-axis at 1 and therefore has the equation y equals 1. 
The second graph is a vertical line that passes only through the x-axis. It has the equation x equals a number. This passes through the x-axis at negative 2 and therefore has the equation x equals negative 2. Next, let's take a look at a couple of unusual examples that are often problematic for folks when working with horizontal and vertical lines. These are the cases where the horizontal line is the x-axis or the vertical line is the y-axis. These are often a little bit confusing, but the same rule applies that we already know. Horizontal lines have the equation y equals a number. This first graph passes through the y-axis at 0, so the equation of the line is y equals 0. The equation of the x-axis is y equals 0, and it actually makes sense because y equals 0 means that the y values of all of the points on that line are 0, and if we plot any point on the x-axis, we get some number, comma, 0. Next, we look at the vertical line that is the y-axis. The same rule applies. Vertical lines have the equation x equals a number. The line passes through the x-axis at 0, and so the equation is x equals 0. The equation of the y-axis is x equals 0, and it actually makes sense because x equals 0 means that the x values of all of the points on that line are 0, and if we plot any point on the y-axis, we get 0, comma, some number. In the second part of this lesson, we're going to focus on graphing horizontal and vertical lines. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. Our first example, graph the equation y equals 3. We know that y equals 3 is a horizontal line that will pass through the y-axis at 3. We begin by plotting a point on the y-axis at 3, and then we draw the horizontal line through it. This is the graph of the equation y equals 3. In our second exercise, we wish to graph the equation x equals 1. x equals 1 is a vertical line that will pass through the x-axis at 1. So we plot a point on the x-axis at 1, and we draw the vertical line through it. It's actually as simple as that. Here are a couple examples for you to try. Can you graph these two equations? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to check your answer. Let's see how you did. The equation y equals negative 3 is a horizontal line that passes through the y-axis at negative 3. We plot the point at negative 3 and then draw the horizontal line. Don't forget the arrows at the end of the graph to indicate that the graph continues endlessly in both directions. Next, we want to graph the equation x equals 5. x equals 5 is a vertical line that passes through the x-axis at 5. We plot our point at 5, and then sketch the vertical line through that point. Again, don't forget the arrows on both ends of the graph to indicate that the graph goes up and down endlessly in both directions. That's everything you need to know about horizontal and vertical lines. You can learn more about linear functions as well as horizontal and vertical lines in Mr. Dory's Algebra Handbook, available at www.dorypublications.com.